Hi, everybody. This is Ms. Nunez here to explain to you what we're doing in our uh, assignments in ILIT this week. So something really important um, about the word slams is that in this little corner on the top right, you can see what all the words are. So a lot of people don't know that this little corner up here has the words in it. Um, so when you are making words, uh, you would need to drag and drop and then try to make a word uh, based on what you're choosing. So if it doesn't make any sense and you submit, um, naturally it's not gonna be right. So you have the word slam number three. Another thing you need to do is making an inference. So making an inference is kind of hard uh, because you're going to look at something and see if you can guess what they're trying to tell you. Uh, so it is an educated guess. So you'll notice that there's a little paragraph here. Chase opened his eyes and looked at the clock on his bedside table. Uh, my inference there is that he had been sleeping. And, um, I bet that he was worried what time it was. Maybe he was worried that he overslept. Uh, so it doesn't tell me that, but I'm making an inference. So you're gonna write down what the clues are. And then at the bottom, you're gonna make an overall inference about the little story that we see here. He threw off his blankets and jumped out of bed. He's jumping, that makes me think he's startled, maybe he's late, grumbling to himself. Mm, maybe he didn't have enough sleep. He quickly pulled on his slacks and grabbed his uniform shirt off the floor. Mm, he must have a job or maybe the uniform is for school. Mm and he quickly pulled on his slacks. I'm guessing he wasn't wearing pajamas because it doesn't say that he took off his pajamas. So whatever, he, he put on his shirt, he sniffed it. Ooh, I wonder if it's got B.O. on it. It smelled a little dirty, but it would have to do. I'm guessing he didn't do his laundry. Once he was dressed, he ran downstairs. Oh, he lives in a two-story house. Uh, as he opened the front door, maybe he lives in an apartment. As he opened the front door, he yelled to his mother that he didn't have time to eat. Hmm, so his mom makes him breakfast, huh? He's a mama's boy. Then he ran down the street, hoping his boss wouldn't be too mad. Uh, so, ooh, that makes me think, ah, I bet he's been in trouble before. Um, maybe um, he could be in a um, danger of getting fired or something like that. So you're gonna pick uh, five, four clues, and then you're gonna make an overall uh, inference. Uh, the next assignment that you have is figurative language. Boy, there's an entire book about figurative language. And you're just to say if it's a simile or a metaphor. So you have a sentence here. Gummies are what we call old people. And the writer was so ancient, the hair on his chin beard was as white as bone. And most of his teeth were gone. So you're gonna identify what is the figurative language. Similes are similar and they have like or as on them. And a metaphor, think about four straight up. So if somebody tells you, you are a king, his, his brain is a computer, then it doesn't have like or as in it and it symbolized something. So if I said his brain is a computer, uh, I would say he's very smart. So you're using a figurative language uh, to explain something. And finally, your vocabulary study plan, you have a pre, a practice, a post and withdraw. I've never seen the withdraw. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so a study plan <laughs> 
is um, you have A or B to choose from and you look at the word and you try to guess which one it is, okay? So those are the assignments you have. If you have any old stuff pending uh, and you do that, I'm still gonna mark you absent um, because this week, Word Slam 3, making an inference, figurative language and vocabulary study plan. You have those four assignments uh, to do this week. So let me know if you get stuck on anything, I'd be happy to help you. And so um, I do want you to sign in on Zoom once a week. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday at 1.30 is the times that I have offered for you. If, you. if those days don't work for you, just let me know, email me. You can always check in by email as well. So good to see you and I hope we meet one day.